back looking for your next great read. I am so happy to announce our latest City Line Book Club pick. It is My Mother's Daughter by Perdita Felicien. So this is a raw and affecting memoir about a mother and daughter who beat the odds together. Decades before Perdita became a world champion hurdler, running the biggest race of her life at the 2004 Olympics, she carried more than a nation's hopes. She carried her mother's dreams. It's a story of an immigrant family, a story of struggle, but it's also a story of triumph. And I'm so excited that Perdita is joining us now to tell us all about it. Welcome, Perdita. I'm so excited for you. I know we wanted to do this last year, then COVID reared its head, but here we are. How are you feeling? I am so excited uh, to be talking to you, one. But like you said, that the book is finally out after a year. It seems surreal to hear you talk about, you know, my book. Like, this is, this is awesome. <laughs> this is what happens to other people, but it's me right now. And that's what I keep putting on your Instagram. You are an author. Your book. This is your book. Like, you wrote a book. So, Perdita, you are an athlete. We know you're a mommy, a TV sports broadcaster, a public speaker. You are now an author. Why did you decide to write this story? You know, there's pieces of my mother's life that I never knew about. But growing up, you know, I'm a first generation Canadian, uh, the first born Canadian of any of my mother's ch children. She has five. And growing up, my mom would say, Pradits, when you came, you gave me hope. You gave me, you know, worth. And when I found out pieces of her story, Tracy, I didn't know all the pieces of my mother's life as a young woman and as a child. And when I pieced together my mother's story that she, you know, stopped going to school in grade six to help her parents sell on the beach to tourists so they can make money, that she met an affluent white couple on the beaches as she was selling who were from Oshawa, Ontario, and they brought her to Canada, um, even though she was a teen mother, to take care of their kids in their home. And she was a domestic worker. And that's how she started her climb in Canada. So when I looked at what my mother was able to do with her five children, right? Um, and what that meant to me in my life, I'm like, this is a story that has to be told. It's so incredible. We celebrate people who have, you know, big titles and names and education and money. But these are the true heroes I felt needed to be celebrated. And this is a story worth telling. I'm wondering, you're very honest um, in the stories. It's cataloged so beautifully. Was there anything that she was at all iffy about, uh, and you including in the book? Like, was she ever like, ooh, Perdita, I don't know if you should put that in there? My mother, this is her story. It's messy. It's, it's a woman's story, right? We talk about, you know, um, her deciding to keep me, even though I'm not planned, and my father disappears on her, right? And so, of course, there are things as a woman that gave her pause. What will people think of me? What will they say? But because my mother is so sure of who she is, and she also knew I couldn't just tell a sports story, T. I couldn't just tell you about Athens, which I do. I had to show you the foundation of who I am so you could understand in Athens this athlete. And so um, I think my mother did understand that this is extremely revealing and we're putting ourselves out there. But she knows that she's not the only woman to experience a lot of things on the page that she experiences, including homelessness and domestic violence. And she said, if I can just save one person or tell one woman she's worth it, then she wanted to tell that story. And I got her blessing. What do you want people to get from the book? She wants, she wants people to read the book and see that you can make it, you can do it. What do you, what do you want people to get out of this book, Perdita? I really just wanted to tell one family story right? One Canadian family's story. And at the end of the day, this is really a love letter to my mother and celebrating her humanity. Because T, I think what happens, um, and I don't know if this is your same experience, but we see our, our parents as mom or dad, we don't always see their humanity. Mm -hmm. We don't always see their humanity and who they really are. And I wanted to see who that was in my mother. What I want people to truly take away from this book, though, is it doesn't matter how you start. It doesn't matter how you get here, how messy that origin story is. All that really matters is who you become, who you decide to become. My mother, before I ever jumped a hurdle, had had to overcome so many hurdles that I highlight in this book. And she really was my first teacher of how to get over obstacles and get over barriers and then how to rise, like you said. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to meet her. And I'm so excited that we're reading this book together. So thank you so much, Perdita. This is amazing. To all of our viewers out there, read My Mother's Daughter along with us and join in on the discussions on Twitter and Instagram with the hashtags ReadMore and CityLine Lit. And Miss Perdita will be joining us again on May 7th for a live chat on CityLine's YouTube channel. 
We would love to hear your questions about the book. I will throw them in there as well. So join our City Line Book Club group on Facebook to send in your questions. And subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss it when we go live. We want you to join in for this incredible, quintessential Canadian 